If this is your first time listening to a video from my channel, I welcome you. I hope your curiosity is rewarded by what you hear in the next few minutes. However, what I'm about to say is highly dependent on a person having listened to all previous 68 video lessons in the Keys of Magic series. Each lesson has delivered unfolding keys that set us down now at a certain point at which I am going, now going to integrate. You may now be seeing things quite differently than before you encountered the keys of magic and began a journey of listening and practice. How you understand now may not be as you once understood. Through each video, I have been unraveling old paradigms about what the world is and weaving a magical model of the world, thread by thread. As you stand in your own body, in your own life, and within this world earth that you find yourself in, I hope you have accepted the invitation to understand yourself as the magician, and more particularly a magician in the novice stage of practice. You understand yourself as one who will create the world, especially your corner of it, by inducing change. For a moment, I invite you to actually stand. Perhaps you are standing in the space that you have dedicated as your novice environment. Perhaps you are standing at the place where you meet your Mother Earth. Perhaps you are standing at a spot within your magician's village. You stand, and you observe, and what you now see is not what you once saw. And you may realize that you could not see before. You now see that the world is your encounter with the multiplicity of beings, all of whom are the children of Mother Earth, as are you. The encounter is not with the appearance of the beings, but with the beings themselves, their true nature. You now understand that the appearances you see are the outfits the beings wear, the unique magic of each being. You understand your own body as an appearance, your illusory appearance, for participation in this illusory realm. You realize that these appearances are emergences of light and life force and the combination of element. You now comprehend that each appearance you see is actually your ability to see the conditions that allow for the appearance. You know that these conditions are the magical language of the beings, even if you don't understand every phrase of every language. You can comprehend the deep tones of the universal language of trust, which language is based in the mother's embrace. As you watch the humans in the scenes, you now understand that as they posture their bodies, arrange the furnishings of their lives, and as the chatter of syllables leave their lips, you are completely aware that they are spinning enchantments for themselves and others, trying to cause a world, an experience, a story that they desire to live within. As you hear the languages and songs of the magical landscape before you, you may hear the call of certain affinities that are meaningful to you. Do you feel a kinship to flora, to fauna, to mineral, to element? Do you feel a kinship to food, to music, to machine, to children? What I'm about to say next is extremely important. I gave you the keys of magic way back in videos 12 and 13 when I told you that the calling of appearance was on the basis of inducing change, and that inducing change was on the basis of setting conditions. 
The problem was that you were looking at the world around you in an old way, in whatever paradigm was transmitted to you by parents, culture, media, etc. You began to imagine and wonder how to induce change in that old kind of world. You didn't know yet that you couldn't see. Since then, I have spent step by step time and principles to hopefully reveal the world as it is, to understand the world magically. Thus, when you prepare to induce change due to your knowledge or potential knowledge of the language of a given change, you are now making that change in the world as it is, a world you have been given keys regarding. What will you do to induce change in a being? That's a trick question, because you now know that you cannot change true nature, but you can communicate with beings on the basis of trust and mutually create an experience. That ability to communicate is your magic. What will you do to induce change in the life force that gives rise to illusion? What will you do to induce change in element? What will you do to induce change in your own body to continue to form yourself as the magician? What will you do to induce change in your experiences that include flora and fauna? What will you do to induce change in mineral, machine, tech? What will you do to induce change relating to the domain of your art or arts? What will you do to induce change in the enchantments you experience? Knowing that all before you is embraced of the mother and any change or speaking you do will ultimately be a conversation with that mother and or one of her children What manner of choice does that inspire in you? Each of these are kind of like layers. I'm not sure what else to call them. The best word hasn't come to me yet. But you have the layer of life force, the layer of element, the layer of appearance, the layer of enchantment. And these layers build on each other. The element layer comes from the life force layer. The appearance layer comes from the element layer. And the enchantment layer comes after, you know, on the basis of all the previous layers. You can wield magic in each, all, or any of these layers. You can cause in each, all, or any of these layers. You understand the world as being a net of these layers. There may be other layers, but I think I've introduced you to the major ones. And like I said, I I don't want to call them layers, but I'm not sure what else to call them. But I'm trying to show that speaking the language of element is going to be different than speaking the language of life force versus speaking the language of enchantment, versus speaking the language of any being you have affinity to that may define your art. And it's necessary to understand at what level or layer you are wanting to make change or cause, i.e. magic, and thereby seeking conversation at that layer. And sometimes if you do not get a response within one layer, it may mean you need to access another, and thereby painting the world and or the experiences that match your desires as a magician.